that woman at work that won't leave you alone, it might be time to pull Gladys to the side and say, listen here, it's a new year and I will meet you in the parking garage. Hey y'all, happy new year. I'm just sitting in my car waiting for it to defrost because Chicago weather is bipolar. One day it's spring, the next day it's winter. I was up last night as usual till like two o'clock in the morning, just so much stuff on my mind and something just fell in my spirit of, about being bold, about boldness. This is your year to be bold. And when I say bold, I mean brave. Have you ever been in a room full of people and wanted to say something, ask a question, um, give an opinion on something and just like stopped yourself because you felt like what you had to say was not intelligent or it didn't matter or like why would somebody care about my opinion or did you not ask for something because you were scared of rejection you were scared of being told no you were scared of feeling like you failed at something this is your year to be bold i have gotten so many things in my life just out of being bold now i am a naturally shy person I'm a naturally shy person but time and time again I do force myself to like break out of that shell of being shy I came to realize at one point these people out here people are bold okay people say what they want to say people do what they want to do all the time you ever had somebody say something crazy to you and you just like excuse me <laughs> Listen, people out here are not scared to get bold with you. Why would you be scared to get bold with them? I remember when I was in college, I used to be so, excuse me, my lips are so dry. I used to be so intimidated by um, the other students in my class because I went to a predominantly white, mostly, mainly wealthy uh, college. And so a lot of the kids that I went to, that I was sitting in class with, were wealthy white or foreign children okay and i used to be really intimidated by that to the point where like if i had questions in a class i just would not ask a question because i would be scared to sound dumb and then one day my mother was like i told i revealed this to my mom and she was like no uh-uh ask your question because nine times out of ten I bet you it's a bunch of other people in the class that have that same question y'all gonna have to wait on me I'm about to do a u-turn my mom used to say ask that question ask whatever question you may have in class because nine times out of ten I bet you it's other students in the same in your class that have the same question and are scared to ask and I took that approach being in school and guess what it was so true most of the time when I would ask a question in class it would be like a bunch of other students be like yeah I wanted yeah I wanted to ask that too I was just wondering that too in the same boat would not raise their hand and ask the question that they wanted to ask and then on top of that the more I talked to these other kids in my class I came to realize wealth your 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 family background and your race does not equal like automatic intelligence okay i used to think that like these these wealthy kids were like so smart and and accomplished and when i started talking to them most of them skipped class most of them uh cheated on tests and copied homework because they didn't know what the hell they were doing and did not care either because they had trust funds and all that stuff to fall back on I used to be like, I, I didn't have it like that, okay? I was working full time and had my own place and was going to school full time. Like, I don't have the luxury of, of slacking off. So if I don't understand something, I need to raise my hand and ask a question. I failed business stats twice. <laughs> I failed business stats twice in school. And uh, it was the one class that I needed to graduate. And I'll never forget, I was so determined 
I was like, listen, I'm gonna take this class again and I don't care what anybody thinks of me in this class. I'm sitting in the front and I'm asking every question possible. And I'm going to his office hours. And I did that. And I failed every test. But because I sat in front of that class, I raised my hand constantly and I always showed up for office hours. He passed me, he gave me a B plus. And I promise you, I did, none of my work was B plus, none of it. I uh, first started working in corporate. Um, I took a bold step of asking for, um, of asking for work from someone that our company worked with. Now, I used to be a paralegal for several years and uh, we worked with a lot of different law firms. And at one point, I had a great relationship with this other attorney from a different law firm and he had a lot of work coming in. So, in my... <laughs> I had to break through uh, my little shy barrier again and be bold and I called him on my lunch break one day and I just asked him like hey do you have any like extra work that maybe I could do for you on the side sometimes and me being bold and coming to him and asking for for some side work earned me an extra $1,200 a month consistently and some some months it will be more than that um, but just because I stepped out of my comfort zone and was unafraid to ask for it it was given to me so there's so many I'm, I'm telling you guys I have been in so many different situations where I like swallowed my <laughs> shyness and was like I'm gonna be bold and I'm gonna say something and I promise you so much good has come from it so much good has come from it in real estate is all about being bold I promise you like when I first started out no when I was probably in like my second or third year of real estate I would sit in these meetings on the north side of Chicago with all of these well-dressed Caucasian realtors who had like expensive looking suits and dresses and stuff on and and it, it's very intimidating you know it's very intimidating is you're like one of the only black uh, agents in this meeting and <laughs> I remember sitting in one meeting with them and one of the one of the boys that was well-dressed well-groomed Caucasian guy he raised his hand and asked uh, the like one of the dumbest questions possible even though I believe there's no such thing as dumb questions but there is a such thing as dumb questions if we literally just sat here and went through everything step by step by step and you just asked for them to explain it step by step by step because you were not paying attention or you just don't comprehend something I promise you when you start talking to some of these people that you be intimidated by they be dumb as rocks the reason why this why I even thought about being bold is because I <laughs> I went to take the trash out the other day at my house and I opened up the dumpster lid and there was a squirrel standing on top of the garbage and he looked at me I looked at him and he I promise y'all he stood up and tried to square up with me I was like what the fuck <laughs> It was going to be me or it was going to be him. And he was ready to fight. Y'all dropped that garbage can lid and ran, <laughs> ran back to my house. Be bold, people. Please be bold. This is your year to be bold. It's okay to be fearful. We're all fearful. We're all fearful of something, but I promise you. Uh, I think Will Smith said it before, like, your success is on the other side of your of your comfort level or your comfort zone. Like, step out of your comfort zone. Be bold. Like, raise your hand. Ask that question. Give your opinion. You know, if you want that promotion at work, ask for it. You know, uh, the worst the worst thing somebody can say to you is no, and that's not even the worst thing someone can can say to you because in rejection, I feel like we get better as people with dealing with rejection and then we're not so afraid of being rejected so we become even more bold okay and if somebody tells you no accept no with grace don't become mean nasty mad towards the person none of that just say thank you for listening to me or thank you for hearing me out thank you for the opportunity please keep me in mind um 
because a no today could be a yes next week. I promise you. People will spin the block on you when they see how you carry yourself. If you can handle rejection with grace, I promise you people take note of it. So a no today, does it may not be a no tomorrow. Just be bold, people. It's a new year. It's a new year. Like, take that, take that step to reinvent yourself. Like me even just driving right now, talking to you guys on camera, in traffic, with a bunch of people driving past looking like, what the hell is she doing? I'm being bold, I don't know them. They do not pay my bills, okay? And not 95% of the time, you will never see these people again. Be bold, be bold. That woman at work that won't leave you alone, it might be time to pull Gladys to the side and say, listen here, it's a new year and I will meet you in the parking garage. Don't do that. But I'm just saying, people get bold with you, get bold back. Do not be afraid. Nobody else is rooting for you, I'm rooting for you. We may not know each other personally, but just know, I said it here first, whatever it is that you want, go after it, and if nobody else is rooting for you, I'm rooting for you. You can do this, you can do this. Be bold. When you go to work today, be bold. Bold. Be bold in everything that you do. God will bless your steps along the way. I love you guys. I am headed to my I'm headed to my office. I hope you all have a wonderful day and a happy new year. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.